Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic from prosthodontics that is disinfection of impression. In prosthodontics we have uh, many types of impression, uh, alginate impression, uh, the impression compound, the one we use uh, for secondary impression that is zinc oxide, eugenol impression. So many impression are there. So how do we disinfect it? So that is what uh, we are going to learn in today's session. Commonly, we have two methods that is spraying and immersing. So in both the methods, we use certain disinfectant. So let's see one by one uh, on what impression, what disinfectant be used. So we'll start with our alginate impression. So alginate impression, Disinfection can be done with 0.5% sodium hypochlorite or we can use Adafos. So Adafos uh, immersion disinfection for prolonged periods might cause distortion due to the process of imbibition. Imbibition process but only if it is kept for prolonged period. Imbibition. Biovision is just like the impression will uh, absorb water and there will be distortion. That is about alginate impression. Whereas for agar hydrocolloid, uh, we use the same reagent that is sodium hypochlorate or iodophore. In sodium hypochlorate, uh, we need to use uh, in a dilution of 1 is to 10. And if it is iodophore, we need to use it. Uh, in a dilution of 1 is to 2 and the recommended immersion time is 10 minutes. So in uh, zinc oxide eugenol, that is our secondary impression for complete tension, we can use either 2% glutaraldehyde iodophores or chlorine compounds but uh, in case of uh, hypochlorite, if it is kept around 16 hours there will be distortion so that is very prolonged period 16 hours in case of agar hydrocolor it is just 10 minutes so more than 10 minutes there will be distortion but this is uh, it can be kept up to 16 hours more than it there will be distortion if it is kept in sodium hypochlorite whereas the impression compound so that uh, we can use the same uh, method for agar hydrochloride that is 1 is to 10 ratio of uh, sodium hypochlorite or using um, iodophore. So that is commonly uh, kept for 10 minutes. So the impression compound and agar hydrochloride um, are having the same method of disinfection. Next we have the elastomeric materials uh, such as the polysulfide and addition silicon where we can use uh, glutaraldehyde, iodophores or 0.5% sodium hypochlorite. Whereas the uh, polyether, so we can uh, just uh, spray it iodophore or 0.5% sodium hypochlorite but uh, like any other material prolonged immersion cause distortion. But uh, we just cannot use this 2% glutaraldehyde because there can be dimensional change for polyether material. Next we have wax bites or uh, wax rims. So these wax rims and wax bites should be disinfected by the spray wipe uh, using an iodophore. So this uh, rinsing and spraying may be more appropriate for the wax bites. If we suspect a tuberculosis uh, problem for the patient, in such case we need to uh, immerse the uh, wax bites or wax rims for more period, that is a longer period. So after the second spray, they can be enclosed in a sealed plaster bag for the recommended time. So these items probably should be rinsed again after disinfection to remove any residual disinfectant. 
the next one uh, we have is bite registration so bite registration is made of various uh, materials or compounds can be handled in the same manner as impressions of the same material so we have lots of impression material here so uh, which material we are using for bite registration that can be followed so the material for that particular material can be followed so these uh, registrations uh, disinfected with uh, the technique of uh, rinsing or spraying so after disinfection uh, the registration should be rinsed again uh, to remove any residual disinfectant next we have disinfection of cast so ADA recommended that the stone cast be disinfected by the spraying method until wet or immersion in 1 is to 10 percentage sodium hypochlorite or iodophore so cast to be disinfected should be fully set that is stored at, at least for 24 hours uh, also we can use microwave irradiation for 5 minutes that is 900 watt then we have the acrylic trace that is acrylic resin impression trace the same uh, method we can use 1 is to 10 percent is sodium hypochlorite or 1 is to 2 adophos then we have the final one that is the processes or appliances there we can use the same one that is 1 is to 10 percentage hypochlorite and 1 is to adophos for 10 minutes so that was all about disinfection of impression this is quite enough to uh, write for a short essay or short note we have listed all the impressions so we started with alginate it is by 0.5 percentage sodium hypochlorate and adophore then we have agar hydrocolloid that is 1 is to 10 percentage sodium hypochlorate and 1 is to 2 adophores maximum time is 10 minutes then our zinc oxide eugenol that can be done by 2 percentage glutaraldehyde then the chlorine maximum time is 16 hours after that there will be distortion then the impression compound that is we follow the same method for agar hydrochloride that is 1 is to 10 percentage sodium hypochlorate or adophore then we have elastomeric impression such as polysulfide or addition silicon Hydrophos or 0.5 percentage sodium hypochlorate is used. Glutaraldehyde is not used because of dimensional change. Polyether also we can follow the same method. Wax bites or wax rinse we commonly use hydrophos even for bite registration. But bite registration we first need to know which impression method or compound is used. So we can follow that method then we have uh, the cast uh, acrylic trace and processes or dental appliances where commonly we used one is to 10 percent a sodium hypochlorate and adophos five minutes microwave radiation for about 900 watt so that was all about disinfection of impression uh, that was a simple topic in prosthodontics but it is uh, a topic which comes uh, frequently for exam so i'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics thank you